Hi, I'm Antonio Velas Boas with PCMag.com, and today we are trying out Tidal. We're going to be using their test where we'll be listening to two different samples, and we're going to see which one is from Tidal and, uh, and which uh, sample will be from a regular MP3. Now, for this test, we're going to be using some equipment. We'll need a digital DAC, or just DAC. Um, to be able to actually hear the differences um, between the regular MP3 quality and lossless audio. So we'll also be needing a good set of headphones. These are under $200, but they are excellent. Uh, you definitely cannot be using Apple EarPods. This will definitely, certainly not do. So me and a couple PC Mag analysts will be trying to tell the difference between a tidal lossless stream of a track as well as, uh, or compare it with the MP3 stream you probably you find on uh, other services like Spotify. Put on your high quality audio gear and listen to track A of Flesh and Bone by The Killers. Okay, it's not the actual Wilhelm scream. I think The Killers is unfair because that was really loud. Okay, so that was track A. I have no idea if that's the high fidelity version or not. I'm gonna try track B. I'm glad this isn't Get Lucky. There are more Daft Punk songs than Get Lucky. They had like decades before Get Lucky got big. It sounds like there's a wider range or spectrum in track B, which is why it makes me want to click that this is high fidelity. I got three out of five right. There wasn't a whole lot of difference. Like I had to sort of really try to focus on some of it. Like it was easier when there's like some texture in the low end to really kind of try to glean detail from. Let's see, I got four out of five wrong, uh, right here. I'm surprised I heard any difference, actually. And as a result, I deserve title for 14 days of trial. Sign me up. This test sucks. <laughs>